Hi, I'm Garrison Hollinger and I live in Portland, Oregon and I work for Williams Sonoma Home as an interior design consultant. Come on into my house. I want to take you on my tour of my home and we're going to go all the way upstairs. Oh, back this way. It's always more fun to start at the top and see how we work our way down. So if you come on up here, oh, well you found the food but that's going to be for later. So I know, back over this way, it's like a maze in here, isn't it? So up the stairs, we're going to go. It's a little tight through here. Use a handrail if you need to. It's an old house. Out there is a great garden, but it's winter time and you're not going to get to see it today. So come on up. I'm going to show you my favorite room in the house. It's really a house that I draw a lot of inspiration from and I think that you're going to really like it. So, oh, that's the bedroom and <laughs> you know what? That's for later, not right now. Come on. And this is my favorite room. It's actually done on a dime and it all started with this little tiny box. One tiny box, one big room and what we did is we created four spaces for our friend that was going to live with us for about six months and out of this area we created a little niche for a TV room. I built these shelves, pretty stellar, I did it myself um, and then picking up fabric, I love to collect fabric. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's a cashmere knit that I picked up from Brightex in San Francisco. It's all I could afford on my $2,000 budget for this entire room. This wall here is a wall that I built that helped separate a sleeping nook. And on the wall is the Kimball Art Museum that was designed by Louis Kahn. And it was a refuge for our friend in Texas. On this other side is the sleeping nook. Let me show you one of the other elements that everyone seems to love up here in the attic, and that's these lockers that I got at a junk store. They cost me 10 bucks, and they have ample storage for all my design elements. And, uh, oh, here, I'll just show you. I got tons of stuff in here. Oh! Well, anyway, <laughs> well, <laughs> Greyhound, we'll talk about that later. This is one of the projects I'm working on right now. Um, these are great clients. They're a newly married couple. They have a lot of energy and one of the really fun things about it is she gave me just a few colors that she really liked and some magazine pieces that really show examples of kind of where they're headed and that's a great starting point for me. We were able to create a, a custom made sectional and that sectional is going to be made with this wonderful Italian fabric that's a nubby chenille, kind of like a really thick corduroy that you just want to sink into and the cushions will all be down and it's going to be a great hangout. Now I'm going to show you my bedroom. This room is probably a little bit brighter than you're expecting um, and it all came from this one piece of fabric um, on the linens. It's a saffron color that we pulled out and it, we just kind of needed that explosion of color. One of the other um, pieces in the room that are kind of unexpected are these mirrored chests. And they just started out as plain simple chest. And what we've done is we, <laughs> well, <laughs> this is very unexpected. And uh, this is kind of our life, unexpected. Darby, can, we're trying to film here and make it look pretty. What are you doing? <laughs> this is our guest room and it's going to be a little bit more unexpected. It's not at all like any of the other rooms in the house um, because it's a little bit more glamorous. It's probably a little bit campy and over the top. Um, it's going to feel like a deluxe hotel suite. Well that still works. 1909 tub and it still works. We're still in the guest suite. We had an artist come in and stripe all the walls. The artist picked up the print that was in on the duvet cover and splashed it all across the walls. I took pictures of our dogs and created these silhouette frames that just kind of add a little bit more um, camp to the bathroom. This is my office. Um, it's a small contained area and it keeps me organized. There's um, clapboards that are on the walls and I thought with all of those horizontal lines it was great to have these shutters that were put in that just kind of uh, mimic those lines. Well now we're down in the living room and this is really the heart of the home. This is where we spend a lot of time with our friends and family. I think it's really important to bring color throughout the room, even on the ceilings. It's a dark latte color. You'll see splashes of orange throughout this room, uh, and that really speaks to who I am. Well, you've got to see a lot of my design work and my home, but the one thing you haven't heard about are the hobbies that I do. That's working with glass. Fusing glass, slumping glass, those are some of the things I like to do. Some of the other things I've done is designed this glass work that's behind me. Stained glass kind of has a lean towards Frank Lloyd Wright, but not quite. It has more of an influence of me, I think. That's going to be a wrap, but if you're ever in the Pacific Northwest, make sure you drop by. Otherwise, I'm hoping to see you in LA for the taping. Bye-bye. <laughs>